Okay, it's that time. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, all the snow's gone. <laughs> It's uh, still quite cold, but it's been raining and it's washed away any remains of that snow. But uh, I did make the most of it. Out today to do some cooking. Got myself a new tagine. So we're going to do some Moroccan style North African cooking. Bit of a lamb tagine stew. Um, or my take on it at least. <laughs> so just going to process a little bit of wood and uh, get a fire going. Okay, so I've got a spice blend here, uh, cumin and coriander, ginger, a little cinnamon, um, turmeric, salt and pepper, I've got paprika because I'm not using saffron, so a little bit of colour, a little bit of flavour. So I'm going to put them in there, I may need to add a little more. To that, some oil. and some runny honey. I've got here some lovely leg of lamb. So I just need to get the bone out of this. Incidentally, lately I've been um, saving most bones that I use for uh, making stock. I just put them in the freezer and uh, I've got them all ready for when I've got enough to do a big batch of stock which I have some with me today. So yeah I'll just get the bones out of these. So that's a couple more of them slices of lamb leg on the uh, chopping board that I made last night in a rush with the chainsaw. <laughs> so I just gonna add them to the oil and honey and spices. Ah, oh, fenugreek as well, that's the one I forgot to mention. And because I've probably got a good 45 minutes hour till that fire's more ready, this will have time to infuse a bit. With uh, 
for the lamb marinating in there. It's time to prep what will be the second ingredient on a cleaned board. <laughs> That's going to be our onion, which I'm just going to slice in half and then put into slices. Beautiful. going to warm the tagine, turning it round until I've got enough coals to cook on. And uh, collapse this over. and I'll just get that meat cooking. Well, oh, looks like we've got a bit of heat in here now. It takes a little while to heat up something, terracotta or ceramic or a rock. Smells good already. <laughs> this is already looking great. Nice. Just gonna add in my onions. Let them sweat down in there with that meat and give them a mix in. Got some red chili and some aubergine or eggplant, depending on where you are in the world. Oh, and there's a little bit of garlic in there too. Beautiful. This is my homemade stock, which is lamb, beef and chicken bones and a few vegetables. That will probably do it. And just a few chopped tomatoes here. Another stir and then we're going to let it simmer away. back on with the lid. So now that element that's a, a bit dividing, I'm going to add some water in here. I'm going to add in apricots and dates. I'm going to put in some nutmeg. small stick of cinnamon and some sugar. Just going to leave them to soak and rehydrate for a bit 
and then as the tagine's cooking more, I'll put it over the heat before adding them in. As you can probably see here, I've got the fire to one side and I'm just dragging out the odd coal just to keep this simmering because it doesn't need too much heat because it's going to be on there for probably another 45 minutes. Smoke in the eyes. <laughs> them apricots in the water with the sugar and cinnamon. There's a couple of steps here I'm gonna do some couscous. So I'm just going to put it in a zebra billy at the top part. I'm going to take this flavoured water. And just put that close to the heat. Now I can take the lid off. this out ready to use. Oh they are nice and plump. Oh it's looking beautiful. And add in a rehydrated dried fruit. on the home stretch. Okay, it's that time. We'll go in for some of that couscous first. Just cause. Some of this. Gonna put the tagine lid back on. <laughs> Let's try this. Beautiful lamb. So so tender. Oh. All right. Let's go with some of that dried fruit. Oh, it's so tender. I thought maybe I hadn't done it quite enough, lost patience a bit, but man. The Moroccans are onto something here. Been a while since I've made a tagine.
I've got to say that was lovely. <laughs> that was really nice. You could even go a bit more with the flavourings there, the spices, but uh, that was beautiful. I'm looking forward to the rest of it later on today. <laughs> That's uh, not a specific recipe or anything. That's a gist of it type recipe, my take on it. Um, take out what you don't like, add what you do. You don't have to add the uh, fruit that's just very kind of authentic. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it, something a little bit different. Now I've got a tagine again, I can uh, do a few more things. Maybe a nice chicken dish. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.